Hi right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a, a RESTful web service in NetBeans using Glassfish and using a database in the background as well. First you're going to want to create a database. I'm using XAMPP, but anything else, MySQL or anything like that will do fine as well. You'll want to create um, a database. I created in here a web service and it has two tables. Uh, it has a user, some username and password and I have cars and there's just a few different types in here so once you have that set up I'm going to come to NetBeans and we're going to create a new Java web web application project we're going to call it car services and you just want to click next and in here you want to select glassfish as your server you don't need anything there and by the way this is a, a quick version so the first thing you want to do is create a connection to the database so as you can see I already have one here but I'll get rid of this and we'll do another one so you want to create a new connection to the database it's going to be a MySQL connector you're going to find your MySQL uh, connector Java. This is just your library. Next. You want to get the name of your database. And we call ours uh, web server, web service. And you want to test the connection. Connection successful. And you want to go next next finished now that we have a connection to our database inside netbeans we can now go to our project and want to add a new file and we want to come down here to glassfish and we want to add a resource file so we don't want to use an existing connection we'll create a new one for this project and we'll call it my car res resource go next next and we're gonna call our connection pool car connection pool next and that's fine now there can be issues with this if you come to we we'll deploy this and see if the issue is actually there we'll just wait for the server to uh, come online so the server is online now you want to check our JDBC our resources you can see I have a lot in here and we can see it but just in case that this doesn't work for you, there is a way around this. And if you right click your server, Glassfish, and you come down to the admin console to view it. Once you get to this screen, if you go to your resources and add a resource, and in here it says location to the XML file to be uploaded to the server. So if we look back here in NetBeans, in our project, we have a server resource file, an XML file. And it has our connection pool and a resource information in here. So we want to get this file up to the server. I'll just find where we where I created this project. And it'll be in setup glassfish if it's not in setup you can find it in any other part of your project sometimes it can get misplaced and you want to add this to your server once you have this done if you come down here to jdbc and you go to your say connection pools and you look for your one and we call ours car connection pool and just to make sure that everything is working from the server side we can ping it up here 
things successful. So once this is working, you know then that your server has a connection to the database. So now we can start with the next part of it. Now that you have your database working, now we can add the RESTful service part of it. So if we create a new web service and it's a RESTful web service from database, this one here, we click next, then we look for our data source or resource. So the one we created was a web service resource. And you can see that it picks up our car and our user from the database. So we just want to add all. Click next. I want to give it a package name. So we can just say web. Finished. This generates some files for us. Don't worry about what they are for now. We could do this in a later video. But for now, the car, we'll, we'll go with the user. The user facade rest. So in here, we have all these methods that can be called from other programs or websites and they'll return stuff. But we'll get into that in a second. It also has created entities. Don't worry too much yet. These, these are objects that correspond to our tables within the database and we can use this to get information from the database. So we create another project and we web application and we call this one testing where we test our web service against it. So we'll go to our car service, right click, test RESTful web service, we browse our projects and we'll go to testing. Sometimes in NetBeans, it, um, there is an issue, this 404, but don't worry about that. If you close this one down, come down to your testing and just run this file, this test rest beans run. And you can see this we can has generated some automatic code for you to test your web service. So we'll come into the users and say we'll say ID and we'll search ID1 and it returns a JSON array with the data from the table user with the ID equal to one. Now we'll show you what this code looks like. So if we go up to our user facade and we come down we have a piece of a method here which takes in the ID Actually, not this one, it is this one, find user. Now, we, it gets a lot more complicated than this. We're not going to get into that. You have your web service running, and just say you want to use, get someone from the database by using the ID number or the primary key or anything of that sort. So we'll test. their web service and say the user or say for the car you want to find the car so we we put in ID 1 it'll return the car ID the color and all the other data inside that that row inside the table but you're wondering how will I use that in my website or my Android device or anything like that it's this URL up here the localhost 8080 car services web resource slash web dot cars id so you can take this to any website 
as long as you have your server online. The ID one. And in Chrome, it's actually taken in an XML file. It depends on what you're consuming it in. Because if you go back here, you can see down here, this produces an XML file or a JSON file. You can actually, or JSON data and XML data, you can actually take away one of them if you want, or you can mess about for now. But I think this is enough to go over. I hope this is useful for you. Um, let me know if it is, and I can maybe go a bit further with it. And thank you very much for watching.